how good was it to sort of get the, the taste of those two games and the, what's happened the last couple of days out of you? Yeah, no, it was a good feeling um, just to get back on track. Um, I just got to keep going. What were your uh, impressions of Troll's debut? And it seemed like a lot of people were really happy just with his chance to just get on the floor. Yeah, he's such a positive dude. Um, throughout his, he's my roommate, so out of his whole surgery, um, me and him kind of got to be be around each other a lot. So um, I'm happy for him. Um, he was able to come out and really produce um, on the defense end and the offense end, um, able to finish around the basket and protect the rim. So. He did what we needed him to do. Were you, were you surprised that, that he just seemed like no, no nerves, no? Yeah, I, honestly, yeah. Um, I mean, but when you're seven two and you can just drive it in, I mean, <laughs> it's not me. Not much nerves going to do at that point. So, yeah. And the having, you know, having him progress. You know, Trojan had said that he wasn't sure if he was going to, you know, have this type of performance this early on. With what he was able to show, how crucial is that for his team to have that depth down low going in the Big Ten? Play? Yeah, for sure. Just to have that confidence in him um, that he can come out and he can help us out a lot. Um, it, was a, it was a good start for him. Did you notice that they paid a lot of attention to him, especially the second time he came out, seemed to open up the middle just having him hanging out near the lane? Yeah, for sure. Um, our guards did a good job of just getting in, getting to the, getting in the paint um, and then either scoring or making the right decision and throwing it up to him. So um, he's a great presence on the office end. This is Mason Viner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast. In what ways was he positive as you yeah. were going through the last few months? Um, just the one thing that sticks out to me is just how he protects the rim. Um, obviously, when you drive in and you see a 7 2 dude, Come and you kind of rethink how you going to get around them. So that's what we need from him. Um, and then obviously he was able to finish whenever we missed the layup or he was always around the rim ready to put it back. So. Sorry, I was asking about, you were saying he was positive uh -huh. over, over. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. You know, just, how, how, what was that kind of like over the last three months? How, what yeah. was he doing? Okay, yeah. No, he was just, just joking around. Mm -hmm. Like when you, when you have two surgeries on your legs, you would think the person is all down all the time and always just you don't want to be around them. But he was the opposite. Um, we would talk about a lot of different things. We would just just be chilling, um, and he was and he was just always there. Um, he wasn't down or anything, um, so I appreciated that from him. It seemed like Aaron Wiggins kind of got uh, some of his like you know shot accuracy back a little bit. How much do you think the break helped him with that, and do you think his confidence is increasing? Yeah, it's only a matter of time until Aaron starts starts getting it back. Um, that's the least of my worries. Anthony, how important was it for you in terms of turnovers to play almost like a clean game after the last couple? You know, just in terms of you know establishing you know what you've done throughout this season. I was just playing, just having fun. Thanks. 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 Appreciate it. Thank you.